Hi, I'm Rick Morley. I, uh, I run my own property maintenance business. So I'm a self-employed kind of builder, I guess you'd, uh, you'd say. And I've just been testing the new fine M-Class dust extractor. When I first took it out of the box, I was surprised. The more I used it, the more I actually kind of got to like it. And all those little niggly things that I, and doubts I had to start with started to just basically fade away. Where you'd store the hose and the cables and things like that, that's the biggest bugbear. Um, I was surprised that it was actually easier than it first looked. So what I've started doing in use now is actually disconnecting the main hose completely, just coiling it up, bunging it on the top and just putting it under the, the bungee strap. And I found that that actually makes moving from one place to another quicker, unpacking and packing up quicker. So where I had that little doubt initially, it, it actually turned out to be a, a much better thing. Plus I can still add all my normal boxes onto the top and wheel it from one place to another. I haven't got to keep going backwards and forwards. So obviously that speeds up the day. I guess the cliche is it sucks, but it sucks really well because 90% of the time I actually leave it on the lowest suction setting and I very rarely need to turn it up. So if I'm using circular saws, or sanders, or anything that creates quite a bit of fine mess, it still pulls it out. And that means I can effectively, and obviously healthily work in somebody's environment. I do really like the run-on. So obviously it's clearing all the tubes. It keeps the tools a lot cleaner, um, and obviously reduces the mess. Now I know a lot of building sites, they, they specify you need an M-class filter. Um, I don't really get into that at all, that's not something that affects me personally, but obviously that gives me an option down the line that I haven't then got to have another extractor, it all works to one. In fact, the machine's not a particularly noisy machine, um, or more noisy than you'd expect from a, an extractor or a vacuum. So it, although you're working with maybe a, a noisy machine connected to it, overall the noise is, is less, which if, you know, if you're working in somebody's house, it's less disturbance for them as well. The fact that I can connect it to various tools as well and if I've not remembered to change the, the setting between hose diameters, it will tell me. I think that was one of my sort of dislikes initially, the fact that it, I, was, I was kind of expecting a sort of an enclosed filter bag that you just open the machine up and do that. When I initially opened the box and saw, saw that, I was surprised. Um, but on hindsight, again, it's another one of those little niggly things. If you're connected to an electric planer that creates big chips, um, they, they fill the bags up really quickly. So the fact that you've got a, basically a, a filtered bin bag effectively, um, there's not a huge amount of dust, but it's collecting all the waste. You can just you know, tie the top up with the, the strap that comes with it um, and chuck it in the bin or the skip. I think the way that the, the accessories sort of fit into the little bracket, um, it, it looks a bit flimsy. I haven't had any problems with it, but I think if somebody was to beat it around and knock that, you'd probably break that connection point. And obviously then you've got to carry the, the accessories separately. But I say, I, I haven't had a, um, a problem with that.